these Amanda. are fixed signs at the end of the day. Like, they're yes. not going to just be like, oh, okay, like, we're going to hang out. I'm like, oh, shit, my friend. Oh, I'm no, no, <laughs> they're about you. It's me and you, baby. It's me and you. Yeah. They're going to look at you so much. I hope you like being looked at because mm-hmm. they're going to focus on you. Mm-hmm. You know? Facts. And don't think you could be a best friend of either of these signs and hide in the background. You're going to be seen, baby. No, for sure. All of them are loud, different, unique in their own ways and all of that in each in each of the times. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, you're not like a hiding in the background kind of best friend. Mm-hmm. Back burner to bitch. Them. No, you ain't a back burner <laughs> bitch to these kind of friends, okay? No, no, no. You have to have your own like, personality. That's not fun. <laughs> like, honestly. They don't like that. They don't like no. that. No. <laughs> I'm like, what you, no. No, you, you think I'm just going to be crazy and people are going to stare at me? No, people are going to stare at us because we're both crazy. Correct. Okay, so I just got to say, I got to start it all off. That I'm feeling so much lighter now that we are out of Virgo season. And no shade to the Virgos or anything like that. I just feel like a happier, lighter, non-judgy to myself type of person. And that makes it easier for me to live. I don't know about you. I don't know if everybody else is feeling it, but your girl has been feeling a little lighter. (laughs) <laughs> I've definitely been feeling it to the point where I even tweeted about it this past <laughs> Saturday and the people agreed. I tweeted, I have laughed and smiled more the first two days of Libra season than I did the entire <laughs> month of Virgo season. And everyone was like, oh my God, yeah, me too. And I'm like, okay, see? <laughs> see? <laughs> see? It's- After like a whole fucking month of being such a rigid fucking bitch, your booty just I get so to clenched. breathe and just enjoy life's simple pleasures Truly. and giggle and laugh Truly. and not t- not make shit too deep. Right. You know Virgo likes to make it deep. Oh my god. And my Scorpio ass so already loves deep. to make it deep. So Lord, and then wants to talk about it and figure out ways to fix it, and it's like, oh gosh, can we just let it go? Like, can I just live? No, you can't. Not during Virgo season. No, we I work. couldn't. I could not. You're supposed to get up and work. And I worked. I it, was, worked. it was a good. It was a good uh, month at work, but spiritually, mentally, emotionally, like she was sad. <laughs> she was stressed. You know. Yeah, I feel you. So, it's just mm-hmm. Virgo season is just too much in my head and not enough in my outward world. Yes. Like what we actually are that here part. for. You yes. know what I mean? Like experiences. We're here to live and like yeah, some shit needs to be analyzed so it can, mm-hmm. you know, find a new process or you know what I mean? Shit needs to be adjusted. Like There's Virgo energy is needed in this life, mm-hmm. much like every other sign's energy. Um but sometimes I do feel like Virgo season is one of my least favorite seasons. And I'm sorry, like, if you take this personally, you're not just Virgo. You have a lot of other signs in your chart. Yeah. Virgo season in general, (laughs) for me, is not very fun. I feel like the first week of Virgo season, I'm like, ooh, yeah, I'm excited because I'm like, ooh, I'm going to get my planner. I'm starting to think it's, like, fall, you know, so I'm a little excited. But then quickly after, I'm like, oh, my God, this sucks. So, yeah, I'm just, like, so happy it's it's Libra season. <laughs> you know what's so funny is like Libra season falls straight in the season of fall. Yeah. But like I don't think of Libra energy as fall energy. No. Um, I don't know why. They give me like spring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like also I'm, I'm probably wrong. wrong. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who am I to say that, you know, Libra energy is not fall even though I have Libra placements. I'm not, like, saying this against Libras. It's yeah. just when I think of fall, I don't think of Libra. No, I – You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there is – but then I think about it, and I'm like, no, it is Libra because Libra, when they're not socializing, you know what I mean? They can really tap into that hibernation mode. hmm But, like, they're so busy socializing that they don't allow themselves to get there. Yeah. They, they live in their head. Yeah, oh, you know? for sure. All I mean, all air signs do, but yeah, uh, Libras do too, even though people don't think so. There's a lot going on up there. The other thing why I'm thinking Libra actually maybe does fit with fall because anytime I see fall, there's an aesthetic. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. There's this aesthetic. 
And is there not always an aesthetic with Libra? Yeah, Libra created the word aesthetic. Yes. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Libra knows, <laughs> you know what I mean? They know what they're working with, and they're going to bring that energy. Mm-hmm. And they will actually lead the group with the aesthetic. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They are really in it for a theme. Mm-hmm. And Libra, I feel like, um, you know, is meant to be a fall baby now that I think about it. Because Halloween, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. all about, like, the look. Like, who is going to give it everything? It's in Scorpio season, but it's still a fall holiday. Yeah. Um, and I feel like Libra commits. Mm-hmm. And the best Halloween costumes are the ones where people commit. Yes, you got to start <laughs> prepping in Libra season. I know, really, though. You know? It's crazy because, <laughs> like, I... Big October baby, you know what I mean? Big Halloween advocate. Mm-hmm. Love scary movies. I don't dress up often for Halloween. Like, I just don't. Yeah. I love Halloween. Absolutely love. Like, one time I literally just wore, like, like <laughs> cute ass shit. And a guy at a party was like, so what are you? I'm like, I'm sexy. Yeah. <laughs> and, and all my friends heard it. And they are like, oh, my God. He was, like, falling over you. Because, like, you just got to go with it. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, if I, if I feel like that's the vibe, I'm going to say that's the vibe. But I don't really dress up um, because I feel like it's more of, like, a feeling. Yeah. Like, how am I feeling this Halloween? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? energy am i feeling you know okay, let's also be real like we are wearing black or wearing pumpkiny things i mean at least i am even if i'm not dressing up necessarily for halloween like all of october like i am dressed for halloween you know yeah. like i try to play into the right. pot of it. it. I mean, it's <laughs> the holiday that brings out the most decorations for me. Mm-hmm. 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 I mean, it's just so fun. And I will say, no, it's true. I feel like the last times I really dressed up was when I went trick-or-treating. And I'm sad that it's kind of weird to, I mean, it is weird to go trick-or-treating <laughs> as an adult. <laughs> Yeah, definitely don't do that as an adult. (laughs) You have to go to, like, parties to dress up, I feel like, as an adult. And I'm just not going to parties like that, you know, to be like, okay, I'm dressing up for Halloween. Yeah, I just, I love seeing people's costumes. Oh, no, I love it. It's just not for me. I don't know why. Like, I'll do it, like, once in a while. It's just not what I need to, like, feel fulfilled in my spooky season energy. Yeah. You know? Like, I just, like, I mean, actually, I watch scary movies all year round, but they hit different, like, during Halloween season, because I know, like, everyone as a collective is watching, so, like, we're all just feeling spooky (laughs) together, and it feels so fucking good. (laughs) Oh! You guys, I'm cracking up laughing over here, because Sarah and I, obviously, we love fall, we love Halloween, I don't know why she likes and Halloween we, if she don't uh, fuck with yes, scary wait, movies. Wait, wait. It makes it so, wait. I need to tell my story. Hate, go ahead, yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'm just like, what? Are you guys, okay, well, thank Halloween. God you do. <laughs> thank God you do like Halloween, at least. It would be really sad if you hated scary movies right? and you didn't like Halloween. I don't think we'd be friends, actually. That would be weird. Okay, anyway, go ahead. Okay, sorry for interrupting. So, obviously, we both love Halloween, you know, free form a.k.a. ABC Family, oh what it God, used to yeah. be called. Um, they have, ABC you know, family. 31 <laughs> family. nights of Halloween, right? So they play Halloween movies, like, all day, early day. And we were talking about how, like, we're excited for that. And she's like, ooh, some nights they have some, like, they got, like, scary movies. Like, you like Halloween, right? And I was like, wait, <laughs> what? Like, <laughs> she was talking about it in such, like, a light, fun <laughs> way. <laughs> I was like, no, I absolutely... No, you didn't say that. You said, yeah, I love Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you said. Yeah, because I what, thought she was talking about Halloween in general. That's, that's so awesome. Hey, yeah, I, I mean, I love Halloween. I was like, I love Halloween. What do you mean? And she's like, no, Halloween the movie. And I was like, oh, no, I don't know what you're talking about then. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. It sounds scary. The people oh say God, it's scary. That's so So freaking... she's no longer interested. Oh, my God. <laughs> But I love that we have that because Halloween to me is um, Disney and <laughs> cartoons and it's all of it. Happy things. Oh my god, that is <laughs> and pumpkins. That's so funny. 
Um, yo, that's not Halloween. That's not what it really means. Like, actually. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> you heard of the Day of the Dead? Do you know what that is? I do know about that. <laughs> I do know about that. You watch Coco? Mm-hmm. I fuck with Coco. I fuck with Coco. That's the that's the one. That's the one. Maybe kind of like you know. Is it spooky? Spooky for you? thing I can get down with. <laughs> it is. You know what I mean, well, they are our ancestors, so it's not spooky. But I mean, yeah, ghosts. Yeah, y'all. You, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. If you don't like scary movies, you you know right. what she means. And then and if, if you, you don't, do, you know what I mean. You're, you're, you're on my vote, and so. you're looking at her like, <laughs> bitch, what the. <laughs> like you're a baby <laughs> but like if you don't like scary movies you're probably looking at her like yeah i get it okay so we're gonna go back to our proscopes, <laughs> which are the disrespectful readings the scopes. <laughs> exactly so we've done it for exactly <laughs> exactly that <laughs> you're about to be freaking murdered by this horoscope they're really reading. really rude no they really are hella hella rude um so we have to do the rest because obviously it's not fair if we read, you know, certain signs. Yeah. It's respectful reading. To be read. Uh, we took a little break last week, but we back. And today we are going to do Aries and Virgo. And again, we got this online. We didn't create this. Right. So don't All right. Worry Should I do Aries first or Virgo? Do Virgo first. Okay. We'll do Virgo first. Aries is mad that we got to make him wait, but. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Virgo. Stop buying so many calendars. No one wants to make any plans with you. (gasps) See, maybe you'd actually have friends if you didn't insist on pointing out every single minor flaw you supposedly see in other people. Consider a career change to lice removal specialist because nitpicking is about the only thing you're good at. I am I'm deceased. So, so sorry. I am sorry. That, oh, my I'm, God. I imagine that's what J-Lo said to everyone that was in that room be. before she told the Virgos to leave. <laughs> Bro. Oh, my God. Like, I mean, I don't, I hate to say it, like, none of this is false. No, not as The way it was presented single. was aggressive, but everything they said is true. Yeah. Like, y'all be nitpicking the fuck out of people. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's just absolute fact. No, it's facts. And I'm really, really sorry if you just watched our Virgo's Most Toxic Trait as a Virgo, and then you're now, like, hearing this horse. Well, they're going to watch it, it on like, the Monday. Level. So, it's coming up. It's oh, Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes people watch things out of order, so whatever yeah. way. But if you haven't Either seen way, it yet. Either way, you're going to be red. <laughs> wow. Back to back. <laughs> we sorry. Back but back. it the truth. It's, no, seriously. This is literally what we said in our Virgo it, video that we just posted. Not to this um, exact verbiage, right. but really similar things were said. Right. Uh, the way that they said... Stop buying calendars, though. Because nobody and trying wants to, to make plans with you. <laughs> no, because let's be real. Can a I, career can I, change. Can I actually Lice say removal specialist. the way sometimes Virgo over plans things makes the vacation not fun? Yeah. It makes the situation not fun anymore. Like, why are you overanalyzing and thinking of 10,000 ways that this can go? You know, you already planned for the best way it could go. So just, like, trust in that, Virgo. Because the thing is, you know how people say, like, have the least amount of expectations and that's when you usually have, like, the best time? Yeah. Because you're not thinking about how it could go and then no matter how it goes, if it doesn't match that, you get, like, you know, you get weird because yeah. you have these expectations. Mm-hmm. Like, the least amount of expectations, the more fun you have because everything's a surprise and you're just living as you go. Yeah. Um, and I feel like Virgo, because they overanalyze and they plan everything out and they think about everything that could happen – they're also rooting the experience for the other person who yes. maybe doesn't do that and likes to have experiences without any preconceived expectations beforehand. Yeah. You know what I mean? It kind of kills it. Kills the vibe. Um, you're, you're a professional vibe killer sometimes. Gosh. Also, Virgo, like, you are not living life to the fullest. You know what I mean? Like, let's be real. Like, sure, people can be accommodating. Some people are more okay with it than others. But at the end of the day, you are not living life to your fullest when you are always planning, overthinking yeah, all of this shit. You, you gotta let it, let it be. be. You gotta let it go. Yeah. A little you, bit. You know what I mean? A little bit. Just a little bit. You gotta you already give it some wiggle room. You know? You know what I mean? Because I've said this before Make recently. Room for <laughs> yeah, room for error and like just room for spontaneous shit. Like if you don't have free time, you're not gonna allow life 
to surprise you. Yeah. Um, and I feel like life really, really does have these plans for us if we give it enough room in our life to bring it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because if you just pack everything, if you don't let anyone go, you're just dragging around everybody that you've had since the dawn of time. and ev- You know what I mean? Like you're just always doing things by the book. You're not giving life an in to surprise you and bring a new person to you, bring a new experience to you. You know, you just you just have to let shit go and stop filling it with more plans. And it seems like such a negative experience to have all of these preconceived notions and then to always be let down. Yeah. It, it's that's my true. biggest thing too you know what I mean like not everyone's gonna operate like you Virgo but that's okay and that doesn't mean that you couldn't enjoy it that other way too yeah you know that's my other thing that frustrates them it's like try something new because even if you don't like it then I I'd be happy to hear you talk shit about it later honestly but just try something new and be flexible yeah. Sometimes I feel like it's so funny to me that they are a mutable sign because there are times where I'm like they are so inflexible and it drives me crazy. Yeah. I really don't understand it. They like their own plan and process. They do. I mean, that's when I feel like the earth energy really. They don't trust anyone else's plan. Mhm. They think they're going to be stuck. Mhm. That's where that mutable energy comes from. And they from. hate that. Yeah. It's a control thing, too. Absolutely. <laughs> They don't want to be stuck with your miss. <laughs> Even though they're going to stay around and fix it. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't want to fucking do this shit. Cleaning. <laughs> Why are you the last one there fixing it up, though? Because they want to have the option to complain about it tomorrow. I'm crying because you are so right. <laughs> I'm actually done. I'm actually done. They like that. They, they like to have that little it's one their, up after. It's one of their favorite things Don't to talk about. When they did something that they weren't <laughs> supposed to do, but they did it out of the kindness of their heart because nobody uh, could do it better than them. Uh, uh, uh. For the people who are listening, I just air quoted so hard. 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 She air quoted the fuck out of that ear. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Really? Regos are the judgmental. Like, the most judgmental. They are the judge and, and the I, jury and judge motherfucking Judy. Yes! <laughs> All the judges and the juries. No, I love it. <laughs> no, I don't love it. You know, Libra's <laughs> supposed to be all about justice, but no, Virgo's really. I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, here. That's why Virgo comes before Libra. Virgo's like, no, let's clean this shit up. So, like, when we start talking about it and how it's not fair, we can talk about why it's not fair because we did it right. I got the data to prove it. No, literally. <laughs> I got the facts. I got the facts to fuck it up. And then Libra's like, shut up, shut up. Give me the papers. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the way you communicate. Watch this. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Libra breezes over the paper. All right. Let's, let's time to make it look nice. <laughs> hey, let's make a story, baby. <laughs> and Virgo's not, no, like, you need to, like, actually You forgot say, these data points. <laughs> like, did you read the front and the back? <laughs> You're missing you're missing this. Libra's like I read it's the like, first paragraph and the last paragraph. I got a good summary. <laughs> Virgo hates that. And Virgo's so like I worked so hard on that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, are we ready for Aries? No, oh, yes. Oh god, this is good. Okay. Aries baby. Aries, since you love brutal honesty so much, here's some for you. You're never going to achieve your dreams. You'll repeat the same mistakes over and over again until you die. That death grip you've on, you've got on the past. Yeah, don't let go. Remember all the pain you've caused and know that it's because of who you are as a person. You will never change. Oh, oh my God. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear. I just, oh, 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 my God. Okay, you know, they speak about how, you know, revenge, like, is not good for Scorpio. But I feel like that's basically what this is saying, too. Like, you know, revenge will kill you, Aries. Like, you always trying to fight and shit. Everybody. Everybody. And Lena, the thing is. Wow, that was so bad. I know. It was really bad. Oh, Um, dear God. You guys. So, like, if you want to. Yeah, other ones are bad, too. It's not just these. Um, I feel like I don't know what I want to say, but I'm thinking about what I should say. They said that Aries ain't going to achieve their dreams. How do you feel about that? I feel like <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. I would never no. say that in front of an Aries because they would literally 
try and fight me. Oh my god. Wait. Okay. Really- Listen, my thing is nah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not that they're not gonna be <laughs> They're like, what is what? The thing is, you're going to die trying to make it come true. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's what's up. That's like that. Like that. No, you are. are you going to say that? You are. <laughs> no, no, no. You're going to like make it come true. Great. But I will oh, say, okay. <laughs> this is like talking about every sign at their lowest vibration. Oh, for sure. And I feel like Aries gets distracted by the fight too much. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And like sometimes I feel like they get distracted by what's mm. going on around them because they're so impulsive. Um, so like you need to learn to pick your battles. For sure. Otherwise you will always just be fighting instead of making your dreams come true. And always be caught up in the drama. Here's the thing. <laughs> Even if you aren't the drama, Aries, because baby, I believe you really ain't the drama. Okay? Really? really? I do. I do be believing oh. that they ain't always the drama. But... Do I believe they attract the drama? Yes. Do I believe they go with the drama? Yes. I feel like they Do have I- like some fire. <laughs> the the no, fuel. They're, so they're just standing there and they're like the drama. <laughs> <laughs> Let me light that shit up. It's looking a little dim in here. Yeah, I didn't start the fire, but I sure as hell I'm gonna make it bigger. And uh, they <laughs> cardinal could. And fire. that's Loki. Kind of what I'm speaking on is just like you. They could get caught up in it, uh-huh. but it ain't. Theirs. Oh yeah, always. For sure. You know, so no, I can so much of it see it. why that could maybe keep them from like pursuing all the things that they need to be doing because yeah. they could get distracted. <gasps> I'm sorry. Oh, but oh it's true. God. Why are you sorry? Uh, because they could be mad at me. I'd be. I mean, this was like. This was nasty. This was bad. <laughs> no, Aries, you are going to have your dreams come true. They Relax. will come true. Okay? This is funny. But don't be getting distracted up in the drama and thinking that every battle is for you. Yeah. Because that is when you won't win. Well, good. That's you know? what you learn from your sister sign. Libra. She knows how to play the game yeah. to get what she wants. That's how she grows so Ooh. effortlessly. Mm-hmm. Learn to fucking let shit go like and play a little nice. I'm not saying be fake. <laughs> Play nice with the people that can sometimes give you what you want, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Not if you don't fundamentally agree with them, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But, like, if you think you can play nice to get what you want, sometimes do it. They can choose when they get to see your warrior um, because sometimes you need to make some friends. You do. You, so you catch more sugar with honey? It's That's so what they say, right? Yeah. Is, that, is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. So just be nice. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> so hard for them though because they also express their love through like aggression you know it's no, like very I aggressive, love that you know? listen my man is a Scorpio I, I, love it I mean too. my man's a Aries Venus and Mercury like I live for Aries energy I love the passion mm-hmm. I love how you guys are aggressive with it and everybody will know how you feel mm-hmm. it's honestly one of my favorite things about you but some people depending on what you want you know, you got to play a different kind of game. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if you want to learn more about that, go ahead and subscribe. And know let this Libra audience. Mercury teach you. Know your audience. <laughs> nay. Yes. So I do want to briefly or, you know, just talk about what's going on in Iran. Um, I must. I feel like it's just in my rightful duty and just, you know, you know, I'm a, if you are new here, I am an Iranian immigrant. Um, I am Persian, you know, my family came here when I was around eight or nine and I obviously feel compelled to talk about what's going on in Iran. And it's not the first time we've talked about what goes on in Iran Mm -hmm. and women's rights in Iran and just everything that goes on in Iran because it hits home literally for me. Um, and if you have been living under a rock and you don't know what's going on in Iran, um, a girl by the name of Mahsa Amini, was actually beaten and killed to death in the custody of the Iranian morality police. Mm-hmm. Um, and this isn't anything that is new, something that you know is like a one-off thing. This has been happening to women since the Iranian revolution happened in 1979, and Iran essentially became a theocracy. Um, and this isn't a dig at Islam at all. This is about the religious leaders that are running Iran and that took over the beautiful, rich history of Iran. It essentially took away women's rights and a woman's ability to choose for herself, whether that is to wear a hijab or not, um, but also whether she gets to have an education, to file for divorce, um, to show her hair, you know what I mean? Like just 
control over her life. Um, and, you know, this isn't the first time that people have been protesting in Iran. It almost mm -hmm. has felt like a 40-year protest because people have mm -hmm. never stopped. Mm -hmm. um, but this one in particular is, is so fucked up and so sad. And every single death that has happened in the hands of this morality police is, is just as fucked up and sad. It's just that something about this one... I think people are just truly fucking fed up. Mm -hmm. um, and my heart is with them. My heart is with my, with my home country. And I never, ever, ever take my freedom for granted. You know what I mean? Like, I know that I'm so lucky to have an education and to be able to have freedom to choose the kind of life I want to live. But that doesn't mean that when shit like this is happening in my home country, and even when shit like this isn't happening and I'm not hearing about it, my heart and soul has always been with Iran and wanting freedom for my fellow Iranian women and just knowing that they're so intelligent and they have so much potential. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the fact that they are constantly fighting for their basic rights. You know, I have cousins there, I have family there. Mm -hmm. My sisters, you know what I mean, have gone through shit when we were there. I was literally seven and I know what it feels like to be ostracized because, being, because of being a religious minority. Like all this shit that just has always stuck with me even though I moved and immigrated to America. Like it just always comes to the surface when I hear shit like this happening. And right now more than ever that, you know, most of the world is aware of what's happening in Iran and a lot mm -hmm. of people are supporting, but we need more support. If you don't know about it and this is the first time you're hearing about it, go do some research because the government is also taking away people's internet. Like they're hopping on the internet via VPN yes. to share what's going <laughs> on there. And you know, Massa is not the first one that has died. Like since she died, other women, other women have, have shown died. support, literally walked in front of the police taking off their hijab, cutting their hair, like mm -hmm. just singing on the streets, singing. On, we can't even sing on the streets. And that's an act of courage. No, you know what I mean? It's just, it's a lot. It's and I a, want everyone to just be aware of it. Yeah. And to show your support is what I'm asking you. Yes, because quite frankly, these women, the people in Iran do not have a voice. They actually do not have a voice right now because their internet is being taken away from them. And if you have any type of empathy or heart in you, you would understand that this is a serious issue and you would be speaking up and trying to amplify the issue that they are going through. Because this is freaking terrible. The fact that women have been fighting for their rights for what, like since the early 80s, right, in Iran. And that's not even talking about the other issues that this country is going through right? Like the economic crisis, the hunger, the dehydration, like all of that on top of it is just like they need help and support as human beings. So if you're hearing this message, please amplify it. Send money if you can because they really need help and they're like, I'm actually going to cry, like they're in a very not good spot to my understanding, you know? And um, it's our duty as like humans to really try and amplify and be their voices for them. Because right now, like I said, they do not have voices. So please stick up and say, stand up and say something. Like, please. Yeah. I also feel like, you know, living in America, um, the Middle East is obviously viewed in a certain light. And that's not, you know, by accident. It's for a reason. People are made to feel you know, scared when they think of the Middle East and our mm -hmm. culture. And like, that wasn't always the case before the revolution. Mm -hmm. um, when, you know, religious leaders took over, it definitely changed the world perception of Iran and our culture. And I'm sure other countries in the Middle East as well. So it's almost, um, it's not almost, it's very fucked up because it's almost like we were made to be viewed this way mm -hmm. so people can have less empathy mm -hmm. towards what is going on. And that honestly freaking breaks my heart because, you know, I look at everything I know about my culture and every story that my family, you know, has told me and the memories I have from when I was a child there, the good ones. It's so sad because more than anything, like, I want to experience my country in the lens that my mom experienced. Like, there's pictures of her, like, on the beach in, like, swimsuits. Like, I don't know what that even feels like mm -hmm. in my home country. You know what I mean? Because I was obviously born after the revolution. 
but like I know so much about you know my culture you know my first language is Farsi so like all these things like everything that's going on there is so sad but like more than anything I also know that like all of us that have been living in diaspora you know away from our home country like we're our hearts are with them there and more than anything we want to be with them you know what I mean but like it's just such a scary terrible place to be right now because of you know the government truly truly it's so scary and like anyone who speaks out against it you really you could die you know what I mean within yeah. a matter of minutes like if they find you you're dead mm -hmm. like even the videos they're posting online of the protests I get scared too because I see that they're posting their faces and they could find them you yeah. know what I mean and that truly freaking breaks my heart it's yeah. painful it's so painful um and then to tie it even with the guilt of like just feeling like holy shit like that could be me you know what I mean I, I like what do why is it that I get to be here you know what I mean and like I love my life here and I'm so grateful for it and I know I'll be able to do great things here and give back as well but also I just can't help but feel like I want every woman there to experience the level of freedom that I get to experience like mm -hmm. I want that for them more than anything like if they want to get an education if they want to get married or not if they want to have kids or not they the got options. married get divorced who cares what people think mm -hmm. you know but like women much like women everywhere in the world, but like I feel like in the Middle East especially, we're just so controlled. Yeah. This life is set out for us, for them, you know, especially the ones that are still there. Um, and I don't like that because women, we thrive when we have freedom. Mm -hmm. We thrive when we have purpose and when we're not being controlled by the patriarchy. Mm-hmm. And we have actually, I feel like, true good intentions for society, yeah. unlike men. I feel like we yeah. are much more empathetic and thinking of our communities. Yeah. And I'm also really happy that you touched on the fact that I feel like for a lot of Americans today, yes, they may know Iran as um, an idea of, uh, or a country that we are always fighting with, right? Yeah. And that's very much how it was prosed, even to me as a young American girl, right, when 9-11 happened, right? Let's not act like this isn't a thing. However, <laughs> it is really, really ignorant to act like that has been their entire entity and life and culture, right? And it... I feel like a lot of Americans think that, similar to how um, a lot of Americans think like, oh, we've always just been integrated as like blacks and whites and Mexicans and like yeah. other ethnic groups. That's not the case. Just like, um, you know, people in Iran, Afghanistan, like they have not always been under an Islamic ruling nation, right? And that is their government, you know? <laughs> like that is not them deciding their religion you know I feel like that's something that not a lot of people fully understand well I think the government is also to blame especially America you know what I mean I think other countries in the world are more well versed on the history and culture of countries yeah America is, is one like of the white wow shit yeah newest countries you know even though like we're like this superpower this world superpower whatever America is a baby in terms of how long it has been, Correct. you know, around. around. Yeah. Um, so I feel like it's a little bit easier to kind of lie to your people about, you know what and I forget mean? Forget about the history, exactly. the real history. You can they lie also, and rewrite it. I mean, think it. about it. America lies about their own history, yes, about, oh, correct. Christopher Columbus came and found this land. So, like, if they're lying about, you know, their own Lord. history and how shit played out and you know, your own country, you're definitely going to be skewing the narrative when it comes to other countries Correct. to fine tune who is your enemy and who isn't. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Either way. Um, yeah. I just really wanted to talk about this. Um, my heart goes out to obviously Massa's family and every other woman that was hurt or killed during these protests. Mm -hmm. um, and every woman that has fought for their rights and has died in the process in the past 40 years. Yes. You know, it's it's crazy that this has been going on for this long, but 
genuinely, I feel like this time it's different. And if you can, you know, do your research, donate, help, help my country. There <laughs> are my homeland. protests going on this weekend. Yeah. I've heard around the country. Mm-hmm. Um, so if there was one can, on the Golden Gate Bridge. Yes, last I weekend. think there's going to be another one this weekend. So if you're able to, please also mobilize. If it's just sharing a post, that's fine too. But please amplify their voices and this message because they really need us to. Yeah, and also there is a way for you to help out in terms of helping people with their VPN in Iran, just do your research and help out if you can and if you have the time to do that. Because right now, more than anything, they need to stay connected to the internet. Mm -hmm. Um, They need to update the world about what's going on. They need to be able to post and share their experiences so we know what's going on and we can continue to help them. Yeah. Otherwise, their government is winning, and that's not what we want. We want these religious leaders out. No, yes. Literally more, like, get more them than anything. That's out what of there. we've been wanting. You should be able to practice your own religion. It's so funny when you think of um, America and Iran, like these two forces that have always hated each other, but both of them very much value religion mm-hmm. in terms of how they want to run their government. And it's so funny that America is like separation of church and state. Mm. Mean- meanwhile, mm. a lot of the laws that these founding fathers and people that are still around now want to implement have everything to do Mm. with religion. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's very fascinating. And it's like, oh, like we hate each other. Well, you guys are more alike than than you think. Yes. (laughs) And before the revolution, America and Iran had a very great relationship. They were like this. Yeah. So like just do your research. Do your research. Yeah. (laughs) Because they like to make it, you think that it wasn't like that. But if you do a little bit of reading, you will find otherwise. Yeah. So I saw this cute little list uh-huh. about friends and the zodiac signs. And I wanted cute. to talk about it because I actually felt like it was really cute and like it did a good job. You know, I don't always feel like they do that. But yeah. I thought this was a good one. So types of besties. The first group is the ones who give you good advice. Mm-hmm. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Okay, yeah, the earth signs. Get it? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Earth signs are great sounding boards, um, even though they can be judgy. They, they do. You know what they I mean? Be. Some more than others. Mm-hmm. But they're judging because they're really thinking about the situation at hand and, like, how it could affect you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? They're not just, like, telling you what you want to hear just to make you feel better. They really want to give you the best advice yeah. and the most practical advice so you can actually use it. Yeah. You know? I appreciate these three being the best advice givers because all of them move a little bit slower. Yeah. So I feel like they could see the pattern a little bit more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or just like be moving slower and be able to recognize like that wisdom. Yeah. It's like, oh. This is clearly what's going on. Right. And truly, all three of them have given me some of the best advice yeah. of my life. So They're doing I something like, right. I like to act like, you know, y'all be giving me a really hard time or whatever, but y'all also be giving me really good advice. So Yeah. You know, You're like, this doesn't mean like, I'm gonna follow it, but right. <laughs> you're fire sign ass. <laughs> Why you gotta why you gotta call me out? Why you gotta call me out on a mic? Why she gotta call me out? That's just so funny. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh well, I'm just saying too. Uh. <laughs> I mean, it's like no shade to them. I just don't be listening to nobody. Exactly. You know? So it's like you could give me the best advice in the whole wide but world. But you would appreciate yeah. it. I know you would. You'd be like, oh my god. I would. That's solid. You're gonna go do what you want to do. <laughs> I think that's yeah. really great advice. I think it's like, but you appreciate the fact that I they were do. bold enough to actually be, keep it real with you. Yes. Mm-hmm. Keep it solid. And mm-hmm. all of them do. I feel like all three of these signs will stand truth in their judgment. <laughs> Reading of your ass. <laughs> because all of them they can kind of like. No, they do. Well, all, Honestly. all of them a little bit read you to filth. I mean. Taurus not read you to filth, but just, like, go psycho on your ass. Oh, yeah. You know? Well, like, you know, 
after a couple of times, if you don't listen to Taurus, then they're going to feel inclined to come back and be like, see, you dumb bitch. I told you, if you listen to me the first time, I'm so sick of your shit. I've been Why? so calm this whole time, and Why? you're just this stupid and stupid and stupid. I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so just give Taurus a couple of times of you being stupid, and then that calm is going to turn into the pool. Right. To the bull. It changes. Mm-hmm. Virgo and Capricorn don't disguise it as much. Yeah. Taurus does, but then they're the scariest. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Taurus is scary. That was scary. I like it. <laughs> I bet you do. I like seeing Tauruses <laughs> surprise people. You know, because I uh, truly feel like know, people don't surprise me. like that. And when I look at Taurus <laughs> and I see people look at Taurus and think they're calm, which they are, I know the bull within Taurus. Yeah. So when, yeah. when Taurus gets angry or triggered and that person gets to experience Taurus like that for the first time, I get to sit back and watch the movie. You know, I think you hit something right on the head for me that, like, that's, I think, when I like Taurus energy the most. I'm yeah. like, ooh, feelings. Here we go. No, literally. No, <laughs> Let's I get love our it. popcorn. No, it's really good. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my. It's like when you're binging a show. You don't experience Taurus's rage, like, one episode, two episodes, Correct. three. You get to binge gotta, all of it after yeah. it's been locked up for right. a few months. There's a little build And up. I like that passion. And then it's like. It kind of pew. lights a little fire inside of me. Yeah. Maybe that's what it happens when you know, when you're around your sister sign. You're like, oh, ooh, <laughs> ooh, I wouldn't do it like that, but I like it like that. You know, you appreciate it. <laughs> the approach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next one is always getting you in trouble, friends. <laughs> We have Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. <laughs> Big facts. I fucking love it, actually. Because, listen, at the end of the day, these three signs, we're going to make a memory. These are some And not bitches. just any memory, a core memory. Uh-huh. <laughs> core memory. No. These, these are, are some th- fixed sign. I'm going to make you remember tonight. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. Especially if I need to distract you from some shit <sighs> that's going on. Like, I think I'm the best distractor. Like, oh, you're feeling sad. Oh, you're feeling annoyed? Your boyfriend annoying you? Your job annoying you? We can forget you? about that. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. I'm going to make you laugh. I'm going to make you cry. I'm going to make you dance. I'm going to make you laugh. Like, <laughs> I'm going to do it all for you. For okay. you. Also, even though all of them are fixed signs, these are some initiators. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so they, gonna get you, they will get you into some. We want a reaction out of you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo, like, if we're not getting a reaction out of you, we're doing something wrong. You know what I mean? Scorpio wants you to fucking feel literally so untamed that Mm -hmm. you can't even recognize yourself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when they're trying to, like, hype you up. Mm -hmm. And, like, Aquarius wants you to step out and be different. Like, fucking do it. Yeah. We're going to do something crazy tonight. Uh Uh-huh. And Leo is like, oh, you don't like being watched? Everyone's going to be watching you tonight, so you better look the part. Right. You better act right. What you going to do now, Mm -hmm. baby? Yeah. If you're going to get in trouble, you better look good. All of these If you're going to get in trouble, you better feel good. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. All of them, too, have this. Okay. It's, oh, gosh, it's funny because all three of them, can be very loud, yeah. like very loud in the sense of their energy and like, here I am and this is my personality. But they could also be very like, hey, this yeah. is who I am. Yeah. And like slow and sexy with it, if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, they're captivating your energy. Either way, they're getting your attention and leading the conversation. All three of these signs. And focusing on you. Yes. You know what I mean? Focusing on you, like, focusing on them. These are fixed signs at the end of the day. Like, they're yes. not going to just be like, oh, okay, like, we're going to hang out. I'm like, oh, shit, my friend. Oh, I'm... No, no, they're <laughs> about you. It's me and you, baby. It's me and you. Yeah. They're going to give you... They're going to look at you so much. I hope you like being looked at because mm-hmm. they're going to focus on you. Mm-hmm. You know? Facts. And don't think you could be a best friend of either of these signs and hide in the background you gonna be seen baby no for sure all of them are loud different unique in their own ways and all of that in each in each of the times Mm -hmm. um so yeah you're not like a hiding in the background kind of best friend Mm -hmm. 
back burner to bitch. them. No, you ain't a back burner bitch to these kind of friends, okay? No, no, no. You have to have your own like, personality. That's not fun. Like, honestly. They don't like that. They don't like no. that. No. I'm like, what you, no. No. You, you think I'm just going to be crazy and people are going to stare at me? No. People are going to stare at us because we're both crazy. Correct. Truly. No. You know how they say, like, <gasps> opposites attract? I'm like, do they? Not for these <laughs> no. kinds. You have to be equally interesting and, like, captivating. Yeah. Truly. Truly. If you yeah. don't have that, like, little bit of it factor, you're not going to catch a Scorpio, Aquarius, also, the or thing a Leo's is, attention. I, oh, I feel like we don't like it when people second guess, like, what we're doing. If you're mm. going to fucking rain on my parade. Ooh, speak on that. Go away. Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, this is what we're going to do, and it's going to be lit. Like, yeah, we're getting crazy tonight. Someone's like, I don't know. Get the fuck. Go home. Your Uber's here. <laughs> Bye. Like, Leaders I to hate the core. someone who asks questions. <laughs> are you coming along with the plan or not? No, no. You literally. And they're like, but like, the, well, what time are we? Go home, Roger. Like, actually. Are you down to party? Are you down to have a good time? Are you down to have the best night of your life? That's what no, all literally. three of these signs as your friend are asking you. No, truly. I can't. I can't. If you're not, I can't. Then like, no, why, why am I friends? here? Get the fuck up out of here. No, Get literally. Get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So guess what? Uh, Your girl is CPR certified. Oh, as shit. A, I'm she gonna be like, saving motherfucking uh, lives and babies uh, and. Uh, uh, oh, she got uh, the baby uh, one too. She got the baby life, certified. I got both. Oh shit. And I'm certified in AD, whatever the other so one is. Should we call you doctor now? Yeah, or call what? me Doctor <laughs> Scorpio. But no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just like, but it was really funny because this CPR (laughs) class was supplied by my job. It wasn't mandatory. It was optional. And I was like, yeah, I'll get CPR certified. Why not put that on my, get that Mm -hmm." skill. No, for real. And it was just like, it really hit home for me because I don't know if you guys watch The Office, but I love The Office. My boyfriend got me into it and I'm like a diehard fan. And one of my favorite episodes is that CPR episode. I'm like, at first I was a freak that was petrified. Wrong song, first of all. (laughs) And then (laughs) Kelly starts dancing. Like, it's just like, and then Dwight with the fucking face turn it like it's just everything to me so I just like imagined that when I signed up for it and it was exactly that it was, was it it was a mess in the best way <gasps> like I learned a lot but like so many different personalities tell me why <laughs> the dude that was teaching and there was a younger guy there middle of it find out they're father and son he's like dad and so we all look at each other we're like wait a minute <laughs> that makes the whole scenario like, was just, a little bit for us. there was before i knew it was a father and son and after i knew it was a father and son <laughs> and everything dad. became automatically funnier after for everybody involved yeah like their little jokes back and forth oh, and like it was just so dynamic no it was great it was Love absolutely that. fucking hilarious and i just I don't know how I ended up in this situation. Did they sing to Sometimes, you? Did they, did they do it like the office? Stand, no, they did other like, shit. Oh, they okay. did other shit that I can't remember right now because oh, okay. I'm still processing everything that happened Yeah, today. no, of course. this was literally like five hours. Yeah, so it was most of my day. Oh my God, um, it was a lot. And then I got back to my desk and obviously I wasn't at my desk all day. So I had like 50 emails and I'm like, the things oh. I do for saving lives. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I want to say that it was worth it <laughs> because I bonded with people. You know what I mean? It was a very yeah. interesting experience and I enjoyed it. You know I really what? Did. You're going to be out somewhere in a restaurant now yeah, and someone's going to be choking on some food and you're going to be like, I, I no, can give literally. you the Heimlich. <laughs> no, and me, they could literally show any sign of this stress. And I'm like, you want me to perform CPR? <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> it was really funny because before they even knew so for the baby there's like a way that you have to do it yeah but before i didn't even say that i had long fingernails or anything so but before they said that they're like and then there's this other way because son you said some girls have long fingernails nowadays he's like yeah so, so you go like this and i'm like nice <laughs> and i started doing it and he's like oh she got the Like, there was no way what I went through today was real. <laughs> That's actually... Like, it's just freaking hilarious. And then I come funny. back from this, and there's a fire <laughs> drill happening. No! <laughs> but, no lie. 
once I saw the 60 emails in my inbox, I'm like, I am not leaving. <laughs> I was like, she said, let the like, fire you know, come. Well, it was only happening for like a minute before people came back, but still, I sat there and the things were going off, and I'm like, nah, I need to respond to these emails. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> chaos. The most mercury retrograde mercury Bro. day ever. Why what has I Mercury been retrograding, you mean? Doing is thank, 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 thank. Because it's also thang, a thang, freaking thang, Virgo thang, right now. Dang it. It's, it's home it, sign of Virgo and it's retrograding. So I feel like it's like the effects are even heavier. So bad. It's a lot. So bad. It's a lot. Like technology's been fucking up. <sighs> I just the I can't. traffic jams, the miscommunications. I just, I just can't. No, honestly, I just want everyone to. And then, like, please throw don't the key actually away. try and do anything. Just don't talk to people. Just sh- truly, sh- truly, do less not. accidents happen when you speak less. Correct. <laughs> don't, don't try to go nowhere. <laughs> don't speak to nobody. <laughs> yeah. And if you are, don't try just, to get medicine. I would say be part of the simulation. You know what I mean. Right. Be part of the simulation. Correct. L- go with it. Right. Don't get angry about it like I did. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell the people? I do want to tell the people. Yeah, tell okay, because listen, y'all. On Sunday, I had a day. <laughs> and Mercury was retrograding really hard in the sense of cars and traffic. Because... There were so many traffic jams that I experienced, and um, I told you about the one person who called me the bitch, but there was another person who I actually called so me a bitch. I was so angry. Wait, but I'm gonna tell you about the, there was another person, but you, you know, didn't the even other tell person, me. I didn't. I didn't. And that Why? was the first person because she was so irrelevant and ugly. She, it was a she. It was a she. She called you a bitch? It was a Karen. Oh, my God. How and did you not you know, lead with that? Because, because you know, the way that it happened really was. I'll tell you this one story. What the fuck? Because, you know, when you're in, like, a shopping mall and you're in the spot and you get to decide when you pull out. I don't give a fuck if you're oh, waiting for not, me. The fuck? No, I'm not going to hurry up for you. I don't have to hurry up for no, you. No, you don't. It's your spot till it isn't. Right. So, Miss Karen was waiting for me. But... <laughs> I had other things going on. You don't obviously, have to pull over her. I'm putting my things the way I'm talking to my friend. I'm looking up the next place that we're going. You know, I'm taking my time in the course, so I'm not worried about this person behind me. But as I start to pull out, I hear all of these honks, and I look back and I see this ugly Karen yelling at me. You fucking bitch. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I just laugh at her because I'm like, <laughs> you are waiting though. You're going to wait on me though. Like I literally don't care. But the second one. I really don't care, Ren. I don't care, Ren. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, Ren. <laughs> I can't. No so time, <laughs> you know, but the second one. The second time in the same day. If Somebody called me day, a bitch the, in the, the court. The universe was really fucking coming for you. They were coming for me. Oh, my God. And so the second time, I showed up. <laughs> <laughs> you called? <laughs> you ain't going to ring my bell twice yeah. and I'm not going to come, okay? <laughs> so I was leaving a cute little place with my friend after a drink. We were not drunk. One drink. Um, and I was pigeoned. By these two cars. And the car behind me, there was a man inside that car. So, you know, I'm, I've am i already done my five pull forward, pull out, pull five, four or five. And, you know, if I have to do that five times and I still got nowhere, if you drive, you know what the hell is going on. So you see the person behind you, you give a little honk, right? I give a little honk, like a, a nice honk. I'm not like, ram, ram. I'm just like, ram, ram. Mm-hmm. Tell me why this man's instantly is like, what the fuck, you fucking bitch? Y'all. People are so ballsy. Yeah. The way I instantly got up out of my core. Yeah, I don't like, care if this is a grown ass man. 
No, no. I was just so irritated. The way that bitch came out of his mouth so easily, I was like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's time to teach him a lesson. I was nice. I was a nice. (laughs) I kindly honked at him, (laughs) and we made eye contact in the side mirror. And I saw him call me a bitch, so I was like, oh, no. So I got up. And I was like, um, excuse me. I know you did not just call me a bitch. Like, wait, <laughs> did you just call me a bitch? He starts going into his sob story. I've been here for three hours. I'm like, I do not care. The way that bitch just came off of your tongue so easily does not sit right with me. Like, I literally do not give a fuck. You could move your car back. He's like, it's stuck here. It's broken. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. You're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> And I just kept calling him ugly. And I'm sorry. <laughs> because when I inst- when he instantly said that his car has been sitting there for three hours, I was like, hmm, I got AAA. I could help you. But the way that you just called me a bitch, <laughs> I would never help you. Ever. Wow. Because you know my kind heart. Yeah. I would sit there yeah. for another additional three hours for somebody to show up for this person. But the fact that they just instantly called me a biatch I couldn't take it I no, was and you shouldn't have to and I and I didn't and I hope that man is single now because there was a lady in the car and I know she heard me oh she I'm sure she and also um she should have left Ooh, his lady. ass as soon Instantly. as he called you a bitch literally opened up the door and did that sweetie walk Ooh, away <laughs> right bye <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, at the end of the day, my thing is, how do you as a woman not see the way a man talks to other women and Facts. do you not automatically get turned off? I'm not special. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm special, but you know what I mean in the sense that if a man is talking in a derogatory way towards another woman, I'm not going to be like, well, he doesn't do it. Damn it. No, you could be like, next. No, you could be next. And he's probably talking about you like that behind Literally. your back. And he probably talks about his mother that way and his sister too and maybe his granny. He's He's about women like that. Do exactly. you like that? He Are has you okay with no that? no respect for women. At the end Ooh. of the day. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. You know, being, I feel like, in a car is almost as ballsy as the way internet trolls are. Like, people think they have this, like, barrier and that they're protected in they some do. capacity so they get to, like, be a little bit more ballsy. But then when people step out... You know what I mean? Or you see someone that's been talking shit to you over the phone or whatever. You see them in person. They're real quiet. <laughs> they're real shy. She's, she's, she's. They're real timid. Yeah. Have the same energy. Please. Have the same energy. Please. But usually when you confront these people, they get so scared. Yeah. It's like, why, why are you scared? I thought you were ballsy. I thought you were a hot shot. I thought you want to talk all that shit. Get out the car then. Yeah. Get out the car then. <laughs> You're like, I got one drink in me, and I'm going to eat. What's up? <laughs> one drink of tequila, that's all I need, baby. Oh, my God, bro. No. No. Normally, Wrong that one, wouldn't require right me, time. That would not make me feel so angry. But the Mercury retrograde, it was just all the things. Normally, that wouldn't make you angry? Okay, it would. <laughs> What are you saying? <laughs> I don't know if I would hop out the court. I would have just let it pass like, like the carriage. Do you know you're a fire sign? Baby! Oh With, the With the aqua rising? Don't tell them. With the aqua rising? Rebellious? Shh. Don't tell them, my baby. You will, you will whip in the place even on a nice day. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I'm really nice. Don't make me be a bitch. The, the thing is, we can be both. <laughs> like, we all need to comprehend this. Correct. People can be kind people, and if you push someone over the edge or if you disrespect them, they also have the ability to be a ruthless bitch. And by they, I mean me. By they, I mean we. By they, I mean everybody you, that we, you think, you know what I mean, is weak or too nice. Correct. If you choose to come at them and continuously come at them, you might catch them at the right time where they're going to show you what they're really made of. <laughs> and that's how we will end it. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's scary. I saw this funny TikTok <laughs> that was like, uh, try something, fuck around and find out. No. Like, if you fucking around, <laughs> it comes, like, it'll be right there. It's gonna, it be it's right gonna there. Call, call lose. So if you fucking around, you gonna find you, out. You, you finna find out. Go ahead and keep testing my patience. Actually. Lord. Truly. Please let this Mercury Retro be over soon. 
Um, it's going to be over in about a week. So you guys hang in there. Do your best to really <sighs> prioritize reassessing, reevaluating, resting. Yes. Um, don't be pushing on something that doesn't need any energy. Mm-hmm. Just kind of take a step back and sit on it. Mm-hmm. Chill. Mm-hmm. Uh, we love y'all so, so much. So Thank much. you for kicking it with your girls. We're going to link our socials somewhere over here. Mm-hmm. Don't forget that we have other YouTube videos that go live every Monday and Thursday, mm-hmm. podcast every Friday. Leave us a review Do on that. Apple, Spotify. Mm-hmm. If you're listening, go subscribe if you want to watch the video version share it with your friends mm-hmm. okay if we didn't already say comment down below if there was something that she was vibing with in this episode and thank you for always coming back yes and, and for enjoy this libro season yeah we love you and thank you for always being here with us no matter what we talk about yes we love um, you we appreciate you bye, bye.